One of my greatest fears is that someday I'm going to be yurking my gurk and I'm going to fire semen back into the air. It's going to land on my belly button or something. I'm going to impregnate myself. It's a terrifying thought. It keeps me up at night. Now, I can absolutely not find this other player. They're probably off masturbating in a bush or something, but I can absolutely not spot them for the life of me. Well. What's up, everybody? It's Papa Skid. I'm going to be playing as the Girthquake. This is some sort of weird amalgamation of the Michelin Man and Scaramouche that I made. I'm going to be using the armor set you see here, the Quake Stone Hammer. And if you want to see all the stats, gear, rings, whatever else I used, I'll put that at the end of the video after all the gameplay. And this is not the thickest character I've ever made by any means, but he still looks like he would definitely have to use a paint roll to put sunscreen on his back. So I'm really feeling confident about him, and uh, yeah, let's go. So since I'm using a really large heavy weapon, I'm expecting to get bent over and used as a love glove by some Maidomancer, but... I'm still up for trying. I'm gonna go in here and really give it my best. Go in here with a full head of steam, ready to rock and roll. And, you know, and the game really riling me up here with a tip on the heavy bolt. That really just really lights my fire there. Now what poor soul this subjugated to having to fight me. Let's see what this combatant's name is. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, Gavin the Exile, the the hero Lothric, Lothric needs. <laughs> Alright, Gavin, you might be... You might be Gavin the Exile, but I'm about to make you Gavin the Defiled. Because while you may be the hero Lothric needs, I'm the villain that deserves. I think he should have hit me twice there. He's just getting bamboozled. My weapon's like Gaia's answer to a lollipop. It's just a big-ass rock on a stick. Alright, Gavin, I can tell by that falchion that you were trained by Ouroboro himself. You know, bring bring it back. Don't disrespect him like that. Alright, you know what? You disrespect him like that, I'm gonna disrespect you. Get this. There you go, catching that point down. I'm just gonna take a nap. That was tiresome. They always said I was a blockhead. You know, I'm really, really impressed with how well I did. I went in there expecting a Metamancer, got a Metamancer, and then I killed him. Fucking Vidi Vidi Vinci right there. It was incredible. Make ready thine playful clitoris, for I am coming. Shit. A little premature evisceration. Ah, uh, shit. It's a one-shot build. You might be sorry, but you can never be as sorry as the Girthquake, for he regrets everything he's ever done. I mean, you want to try and one-shot me? Get over here. Get some of that douche noodle. Watch this. It's gonna outspace his ass. This little Dark Souls on Ice dancer doesn't stand a chance. They don't call me the Great Bambino for nothing. I'm the Sultan of Twat. What do you think you got on me? You ain't got nothing on me. Oh yeah? If you think you, a one-shot build, have anything over someone playing passively, you're just assing yourself. And you get this, you know, point down of respect right here. I'm gonna applaud you. Look at this. This giant, depressed marshmallow is clapping over your dead corpse. I can't imagine it makes him feel very good. He's got a one-shot build. He only has to do one thing, get one combo off. And some fucker with a giant earthen lollipop beats the fuck out of him. It's just garbage. Why does the game keep throwing me into this giant pile of schmegmet calls in the arena? I am really sick of fighting here. It just looks like someone's really dirty, nasty wiener cleaning station. Or maybe a giant ashtray for the world's biggest chain smoker. By the way, I'm just sick of it. This little edge walker here is probably wanting to use his L1 button on me. And as predicted. That's a brand new PvP or in spades right there. It's pretty cute he's a part of the Artorias fan club, though I really appreciate that. Wearing the full... Wearing the full Farron set really lets people know that you're brand new to the game and you're ready for a spanking in your shit producing facility. Look at this guy. Someone probably dropped him that sword and he's like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna break dance the shit out of this. Hand me my, hand me my parachute pants. Well, I hope he brought his brown pants. See, he's got knocked around quite a bit. I'm gonna do something. I'm not gonna turn this guy away from the game. I'm gonna turn him into an honorable player. Give him a bow. Pretty sure that's the first time I've done that in a couple thousand years. And there's his thigh handler. 
a good omen in the soul series means you've just done something legendary now the strength class might not be what it used to be but i want to put that psa at all the strength users still playing this game now right now you might be thinking that the pvp experience for you is only going to get worse and worse as the soul series goes on but i want to tell you that's not the case you're going to go off and you're going to find a better game a game that supports all the classes and you're going to find your strength builds in those games and you're going to have a really fun time it's not going to be you that's going to suffer for it. it's going to be Miyazaki. Someday Miyazaki is going to look back and realize that he abandoned the people that made his first couple games last so long. The ones that kept up their longevity. The strength users, the people that really cared about the games and played it for so long. He's going to look back and realize that his games are only lasting a couple months because the dex users just keep on R1 spamming each other to death and they're all getting sick of the game. So you go off, you play your games and you feel really good and you're going to feel better than you ever did with that acorn wienered sack of shit. So, to all the strength users out there, keep on doing your thing, find your thing in another game, and uh, that's it for this video. See ya.